So now the sunscreen ain't sunscreen, let's play. Alright, so you guys are always asking me about these sunscreens that are my favorites, which it's not an easy thing. There are so many great sunscreens out there. By the way, the beginning, of course, was a parody. Um, but I figured I would do this, like, get ready with me, spend the day with me kind of vlog, and then show you a couple that I have in rotation. I'm gonna get right in this corner here with my camera right here. Ignore the mess in the on the floor there, you know, sometimes and not everything is like, you know, camera ready, whatever. All right, quick stats about me and my skin. I have oily skin. I live in a climate where there are four distinct seasons. So what I use in the summertime is gonna be vastly different from what I use in the winter time. So just keep that in mind. While I don't have a favorite sunscreen, I tend to like things that are lightweight. I don't want anything that feels heavy. A, typically a sunscreen that is going to give either a natural matte or a satin matte finish. I don't want anything dewy and I don't want anything super like casket sharp <laughs> matte because neither one of those are easy for my oily skin to pull off. All right, so boom, I had to sit down because I'm feeling a little tired here already. But uh, on a day where I'm like, you know what, moisturizer, sunscreen, all in one, boom, bang, boom. I do this one, the Olay Whip SPF 25. Um, it's lightweight. I can wear it most times of the year. In the summertime, it can get a little tricky. If I'm wearing it on its own, I'm probably fine, depending on how hot it gets. But I probably wouldn't wear this in the summer with makeup on top, because it might be, it, it might be a lot, you know what I'm saying? Olay made a sunscreen that I absolutely adored, but it's discontinued. Pull out a little bit far, homie. <laughs> Um, another one I like, the Kroger SPF 40 Invisible Clear Gel. Is it called Invisible Clear? No, it's just called the Invisible Gel. This to me is like a dupe for the Supergroup Unseen. I've done a video on this, so you can check it out. This has like that silicone-y kind of like makeup primer um, type of feel to it. Something like this, I would wear a moisturizer on underneath, maybe a different moisturizer, depending on, you know, a lightweight moisturizer in the summer, maybe something a bit more moisturizing in the winter but I typically wouldn't wear a sunscreen like this on its own just because of the nature of it it doesn't really you know some sunscreens you can kind of get away with not wearing a moisturizer but to each his or her own you kind of have to see what works in your routine um another one that I currently have in rotation the Kiehl's Super Fluid SPF 50 um plus um this has a texture that's really like I guess you can say it's like runny, like watery runny. This is typically like the type of sunscreen texture that I usually go for, if not like a makeup primary kind of one. Um, but this actually can work on multiple skin types. Um, it's lightweight, so I like it because I have oily skin. But if you have dry skin, don't rule something like this out. Dana from Beauty and Color, um, she's been on this channel actually. She talks about her dry, sensitive, eczema prone skin um, routine. So make sure you check that out. But she and I were actually on a live together the other day. And she mentioned that she actually really likes sunscreens like this texture because in her, because in her routine, she likes to layer. So she's got her hydration steps, her, moisturiz her moisturizer, and then she puts a sunscreen like that on top. Except I'm pretty sure she probably doesn't drop hers on the floor, but. So this one is a newer sunscreen in my rotation. I just did a video on this, so check it out. It's the Kose Suncut UV Perfect Milk SPF 50 Plus with a PA of four pluses. If you have oily skin, I think you would really enjoy something like this. Now this I could wear on its own, but if I wanted to, if you know the day called for it or my skin called for it, I could wear a moisturizer on underneath and then put this on on top. So very nice, make sure you check out that video. And then some days it just gets cold out of nowhere. So <laughs> I might pull something like this out. This is the Biore UV um, Aqua Rich. There's a video with a full demo and everything um, up already. So make sure you check that out. I will link it above and below. Um, this one's a little bit, it feels more hydrating. So something like that I could definitely wear on its own without a moisturizer. And speaking of that, this angle is really weird, but let's talk really quickly about um, 
this poll, which my my assistant put it up and I did read it over before she put it up, but it wasn't until after it was posted where I realized like, oh, that might be a little bit confusing. So maybe that's where um, the confusion came in. But I had someone who kept asking me to um, talk about this in a video. So here I am talking about it in a video um, because people had different replies to whether they wear a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it or if they wear a moisturizer and then put a sunscreen and you know, all that stuff. It's gonna depend, right? And on your lifestyle, um, your prefer your personal preferences, what's the weather doing near you, which which other products are you gonna wear makeup on top? Like there's so many different factors. Um, and neither one is wrong, right? So if you wear a moisturizer like this one that has sunscreen in it, as long as you are getting your two to three finger fulls and you're applying that to your face, neck, chest, and ears, you're gonna get the SPF that is um advertised on the bottle right now some people may want a separate moisturizer and then maybe they'll put like something like this on top that's fine too or you may have a, a sunscreen like this one where you feel like you don't need a moisturizer on underneath that's also fine as long as you are wearing your sunscreen and you're wearing a sufficient amount and you're remembering to reapply um, now there's a video that Lab Muffin did that I like to like reference when you're trying to figure out how much sunscreen you need. So I'll link that in the description box as well so you can check that out. But as long as you are wearing your sunscreen um, in a way that's conducive to your lifestyle, as long as you're not just putting like a little bit of it on the high points of your cheeks as if it was a highlighter like when the Paltrow did, then you're doing okay. Just don't do what she did. You need to put the sunscreen all over and you know, there are other things that you want to take into consideration to protect yourself, a hat, some sunglasses, you know, sun protective clothing, all that stuff, staying out of the sun during high points of the day. These are things to think about when it comes to, you know, also protecting yourself from the sun. But does it really matter if you wear a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it, or you do it separate, or you just put your sunscreen on without a moisturizer? It's all going to depend. I didn't look through all the comments in that on that um, post, but I didn't see anyone say anything that was like that far out there that it's like, no, don't do that. And if there is a comment that seems like a little bit far out there, then it's because I didn't get a chance to read it or reply to it. Now, when it comes to body sunscreens, I'm even less picky. The only reason why I have these two here, I wouldn't normally buy these, but I bought it for a video because, you know, I want you guys to have options. But when it comes to body sunscreen, uh, I will go for what's on sale, drugstore, or even the Walgreens in-store brand, two for five dollars sunscreen. I'm not picky at all with body sunscreen. I just don't like to spend a ton of money on one because I go through them so quickly. And again, I'm not very picky. So the Walgreens two for five or CVS brand or Target brand, whoever, whatever is on sale, I'll go for that. And as you can see from these, as well as the sunscreens I showed you before, I'm pretty much a chemical sunscreen kind of gal, but if you're looking for mineral sunscreens, I review those as well on the channel, so check it out. So now as I am going to, you know, get dressed and move on with the rest of the day, cause I got a lot of stuff to do today. Leave me comments below and let me know what you, like what's in your routine. Do you use a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it like this one? Or do you, I don't have a moisturizer here, but let's pretend <laughs> this is a moisturizer, but maybe not for the for the face. But or do you put your moisturizer and then apply your sunscreen, or do you just put your sunscreen just straight on your face? What do you do? Listen, I'm not going to play too much of it because I don't want to get demonetized. But that Public Enemy song, 911 is a joke. Uh, rightfully fitting given today, you know? So today and tomorrow are gonna be really crazy. I'm waiting for a package from FedEx with some stuff from ASOS that I'm hoping I can wear for my shoe tomorrow. Anyway, so I'm hoping to be able to get that because I will need that. Hopefully something works that I could wear for my shoe tomorrow. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna rewear something I've worn already and people will deal. <laughs> so of course I had to support my girl Jessie Monroe Nail Care, black owned, vegan nail line. Uh, my friend is the owner. I've been, I, this spring collection, I'm so excited about this. Like I, I don't even know which color I want to pick.
pretty decent day out here. I probably could have used a coat, but that's my bad because I saw 70 degrees. Um, but that's tomorrow's weather. <laughs> Listen, I know that lady at the nail salon was probably too through with my behind. Listen, I love having my nails done and I did a Skittle manicure. So I used every single color from the Jessie Monroe Nail Care um, Spring Collection. My fingers look a little ashy because she put quick dry on it. <laughs> um, but I know she was too through with my behind because like I'm so fidgety and, and, and quick and stuff like that. So I'm over here turning stuff on and whatnot and messing up my nails. And I know she was like, Miss Ma'am, if you don't get up out of here, I like having my nails done. I don't like getting my nails done. No attention span. And then I have 50 million things I could be doing. So if I could have someone come to my house and do it, that would be great because then I can have my Wi-Fi. I can have access to my kitchen to grab a snack. If need be, I can get a little cup of water if need be. You know, just that kind of thing. Now, the thing is, I've done gel in the past, and I like the idea of gel that I can just leave without, you know, messing up my nails. But what I don't like about gel is that I gotta come back in that, in that joint, like in a week or two, to redo the gel or soak them off at home. And that I definitely don't have time for. I like regular nail polish. Um, this is so pretty. Like, I love colors like this on darker skin. Like, my friend Kalina, her name's not Jessie Monroe, but Jessie Monroe's her grandmother. She did her thing with this collection. There's also a nude collection that's out now. So if you're looking for like some really cute nudes that are gonna pop on, either blend in, because sometimes people like that blending in because it kind of gives you like that mannequin hand, or if you want something that like pops, like something that's like maybe like a contrast, check that out. Anyway, I got a notification that my package is out for delivery for FedEx. So I'm trying to get back home collect that and then I need to get out and get to Gabby's house so she can do my hair and then from there go to the pasta class and we got Blue Betty back there somebody had left a comment that made me be like oh my god like it was on some final destination mess like you know find some other way to to secure the shopping cart which I did but um I had a box back there and the shopping cart couldn't lay down so I you know just how it is for now but I should be fine but every time I think of that comment I'm like oh my god I'm gonna that shopping cart's gonna it's never done it I don't even think it can but just like that comments in my head like oh my god I'm gonna get decapitated also I can't take credit for Blue Betty that was cop the copyright of Blue Betty goes to Kendra D who left a comment and said anytime Blue Betty is back there I'm about to drop some knowledge <laughs> copyright but Blue Betty goes out to Kendra D. <laughs> hey girl. All right, the light here is a little weird, but I was like, let me show you my ponytail before I take off. Okay, Gabby did that. I wish I had time to get my eyebrows threaded today um, because you know, they can use a little threading, but I might just have to um, tweeze them myself and then just get them threaded another time. It looks like things are kind of picking up here in the city. I'm seeing people looking like they're coming from work. Um, because when I was coming here over the summer, there was barely any traffic in this area. I'm in Midtown, Manhattan on the east side. And side south right here. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. And that, that flower that you see, what you're gonna do is, and, and what you're gonna do is either bowl or on the, on the tray is you're gonna go down with your, with your palm and you're gonna fold over. You're gonna down with your palm and fold over, down with your palm and fold over down with your palm and fold over. Our goal is to get this all smooth as can be and resilient so it's gonna be bouncing back once we pinch it. So you notice that it's not sticking to your hands much. That's another sign. When you get to the point where it's not sticking to your hands and it has enough moisture but it's not too dry, it's not crumbly, and it's not too wet that's sticking, then you're a good you're a good ratio of where you need to be with your dough. We're gonna start getting, I'll make flip around one more time and see everybody. Good, all done. Good. That's good, let me see over here. Oh Y'all better go out there and have fun, even if it means going by yourself. Like, I have fun with my friends and I have fun by myself. Like, the lady that's with me in the video when we were making pasta, I didn't know her before tonight. <laughs> but we had a good time.
right, y'all, that was fun. The pasta was nice. You know, I wish I could have put my own season into the sauce, but the um, because of COVID, the chef made the sauce himself. Um, I would have put a little, you know, red red pepper flakes up in that joint and, you know, spraced it up, add some, of, you know, a little, hook it up a little bit. But ASOS package arrived safely. Uh, get over there. <sighs> All right, y'all, I'm exhausted. But I have plenty of things to do, so I still have to prepare for tomorrow's shoot, pack up all the thing, all the like props and everything that I need for the shoot. Thankfully, most of the stuff is pretty much all together already. I just gotta pick up my outfits and prepare that. Prepare tomorrow's video, which is actually Wednesday's video when you watch this, the Wednesday to just pass video. Um, gotta you know put the keywords, the thumbnail, do all that other stuff, and. Then I gotta get up at the crack of dawn to go to the gym. So, anyway, I was gonna say goodnight, but see you in my next one. Bye, guys.